So my name is Hannah and I am um, a graduate in the Wally um, graduate program. Uh, so I'll just take you through a bit of an overview of what our program is, what we get up to, um, who Wally are as a business, because I know they're not that well known within New Zealand. And um, yeah, a few tips and tricks um, to help you um, as a graduate. So, there we go. Um, about me, so I'm a chemical and process engineer and I graduated um, early 2020, so I finished my degree in 2019. Um, started at Worley in February 2020. Um, my first year at Worley was uh, a varied work experience within the oil and gas industry here in New Plymouth, um, doing a lot of process engineering work uh, very similar to what I had learnt at uni, just building on those bases. Um, yeah, a great grounding for a process engineer. Um, and then in my second year, I was seconded to one of our clients as a project engineer. Um, and I got a lot of offshore experience. I got to go offshore um, to the oil and gas platforms, as you can see in the picture on the right there. Um, yeah, and I'll touch on that later, but great experience. Um, and just um, in my free time, I enjoy sort of running, cycling, swimming, skiing. And I think that's a really um, cool thing with working at a consultancy is a lot of, I know Wally and a lot of other consultancies you sort of have flexible hours and you can sort of make that work around your lifestyle. And um, I personally find that really great and um, yeah, it gives me a good work-life balance. So why did I choose Wally? Um, so Wally is a global energy and chemical, energy chemicals and resources consultancy. Um, and so as a grad, as an undergraduate at university, when looking at different companies I would want to work for, um, Wally appealed because of the possibility of being able to go internationally with them. Obviously, since then COVID has hit and that has slowed things down, but I do in the future plan on trying to, um, to move with Wally over to Europe somewhere. Um, so that was one thing that attracted um, me to them. Another thing is working at a consultancy like Worley, they work in lots of different industries, lots of different projects. You're not um, sort of working on one in one plant or one sort of operation. Um, so that that really appealed to me. Um, one thing that's a bit different about Worley compared to some other consultancies is we're a EPC contractor so we do the engineering the procurement and the construction so um, a lot of other consultancies might not do the procurement and construction side of things so you'll do the engineering design work and then hand it over to um, another consultancy and they'll do the construction side of it so that's quite cool at Wally because you can actually you get a bit more involved in the construction side of things. You get to see the project right out to the end rather than sort of handing over your drawings and not being involved from there. Um, yeah, and then another thing is that really attracted me to Wally was they have a really structured graduate program, um, which I'll go through a bit later on. But it, um, I think, I think as a, graduate you um it's good to have some structure to those first few years in the workforce so you make sure you get exposed to a lot of different things and then you can um see what see what interests you the most and where you want to go in the future because it might not be what you studied um and so yeah um and then i guess this is just a picture of mount taranaki which is um just on our doorstep here in New Plymouth. So that was definitely a um, pull to move to New Plymouth. Um, and just a picture here of us whitewater rafting on one of our grad trips um, in Rotorua last, last year. 
So this, it just shows sort of Wally's global reach. Um, here in New Zealand, we're a very, very small part of um, global, Wally globally. Um, doesn't mean that we don't get help and support when we need it. And we can reach out to um, overseas offices to pull in expertise. So at the moment, I'm working with um, some people who are experts in CO2 from Melbourne. So um, that, that's a really cool part of working with a global organisation. You'll find an expert in almost everything somewhere in the company. Um, so yeah. The Woolley Graduate Program. So um, each graduate is, an, is assigned a mentor when you start. So um, and these are a, sort of a senior senior person within the Wally business. So it might be a senior project manager, might be the New Zealand CEO, it might be whoever. And um, they sort of help you guide, guide you through the graduate program, which is between two and three years, depending on how long it takes you to sort of tick off what you need to do. Um, and this person's also there for you to talk to confidentially if you have any issues or um, you can just chat to them about where you want to go in your career if maybe it's not in the discipline you're in at the moment or whatever. Um, so I personally think that alone um, was a great development for, for me at, through the graduate program, just having someone senior to talk to and you know that um, – yeah, they're, they're not there. They're, they're there for you, not anything else. Um, so there's four main aspects to Wall the Woolies graduate program. The first aspect is personal development. So they want to see all the graduates have opportunities to do public speaking and sort of develop out of this um, young graduate out of uni into someone who is confident in the business, um, confident to go out and talk to clients, um, that sort of thing. The second part is networking and engagement. So they want to see that graduates um, get involved in things outside of their day job. So, you, so you, it's kind of encouraging graduates to get involved in organizing events or organizing um, yeah, thing, things that, that aren't your typical sort of nine to five work. Um, so we have a graduate committee who organize all the graduate events and stuff like that. So that would be something if you're on the graduate committee helping organize graduate events, that would be seen as um, getting involved in um, that. And then the next one, which is probably um, the part that is sort of, sort of, um, takes the most time in terms of getting through the grad program is this business understanding. So we have a structured framework that um, helps ensure graduates understand the business outside of their technical field. So there's about five or six main sort of topics under that. Um, and some of them are such things as project management, sales, um, uh, business acumen um, and these are sort of there to make sure that once you come out of the grab program you you're not just an expert in your discipline so for example I wouldn't just be an expert in process engineering I have an understanding of um, project management and sales and all the things that sort of come together to make a project whole because um, it would be very easy to set a graduate down and get them to do process modeling or whatever it is for um, for two years and they don't they don't understand anything outside of their um, their discipline or what they do every day. So Woolley are really trying to make sure that that our graduates are well-rounded and understand how how different disciplines interact with each other and all of that sort of thing. Um, and then the final part is probably the most obvious part, and that's job competency. So that's making sure that you're a competent engineer. Um, so there's also a structured framework for that for each discipline. So at Woolley, we, we hire a whole range of 
different disciplines from process engineering to mechanical, civil, electrical. Um, and so each, each of those disciplines has their own framework in it. And the manager makes sure that you're competent um, within your discipline. Um, for me, one of the biggest parts about the graduate program is sort of the social activities and the social side of it. Um, these are just a few pictures from, so every year we do a graduate trip and um, that involves some volunteering, um, some site visits and as well as some social activities. And so we normally have about 20 to 30 grads in total at Worley within New Zealand. So quite a bit smaller than some of the big firms, but um, it's a really good opportunity to get all the grads from all around the country together. And um, yeah, we have some fun. So just coming back to sort of my experiences as a grad at Wally, um, first year worked on small and medium sized projects um, and really just built on that process engineering knowledge from university. Um, I found that that there are a lot of um, support and structures in place to help you to, to, to guide you to, to do um, certain things within the business um, in terms of process engineering calculations and that sort of thing um, and this first year was really valuable for me because it just consolidated my knowledge as a process engineer um, and then my second year I have been seconded to the client so that's one thing at Worley that quite often happens is you get opportunities to be seconded into a client business and from there you're able to um, sort of see the other side of the fence as such and it's super valuable because you you get to understand the um, frustrations from the client side and what what they value from Worley and what they might not value and that sort of thing. Um, and so in this, I've been able to go offshore. So here um, you can see Mount Taranaki in the background. And this is um, one of the supply votes to the offshore platforms. Um, and so I've been out on the supply vote as well as to the platforms. Um, and during my role, uh, I've learned a lot more about project management and all how all the engineering disciplines fit together to um, give you that final product. Um, just a bit of advice to graduates. Um, reflecting on the last two years, I think you should get involved in as much as you can outside of your day job because that's where you make connections and that's where you're exposed to opportunities. Um, and you never know what those opportunities could bring. So um, yeah, just get involved as much as you can. Um, communicate to others if you if you want to move around the business or if you're, for instance, feel like you've just been sitting here sitting there doing calcs for the last six months and you're not you're not learning anything more. You've learned all you can. Communicate with your manager or your mentor because they're not going to know unless you tell them. So. Um, yeah, and then capture learnings as you go. So if you're if you're learning about something to do with engineering, something to do with project management, and you think, oh gosh, I didn't know that before, that's that's good to know. I've got a spreadsheet and I write all that sort of stuff down so that when it comes to a, a review, a technical review with your manager or you're looking for a promotion, you can say, look, this is all the stuff I've learned. These are all the examples of where I found them in the workplace. And it just makes it so much easier than trying to go back to it at the end of your time as a graduate and trying to remember what you've learned and all of that. It also would help for um, when you're looking at becoming chartered as an engineer. Um, and then the last one is just take opportunities when they present themselves. So for example, the secondment into project engineering when it presented itself, it wasn't something I had been thinking about or striving towards, but I took it because it was an opportunity and I didn't know where it would take me. And it's given me so many opportunities, opened up so many more doors than if I'd stayed where I was. So yeah, take opportunities, even if 
it wasn't necessarily what you were looking you weren't looking for it at that time um just a little bit about our graduate applications they open in late april and we take graduates from most engineering disciplines so um although I've talked heavily about process engineering, we do take civil engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers. Um, we also do take trainees, so people like drafts people and that sort of thing. Um, applications can be accessed through Woolies career portal and they will be also advertised on Prosperable and other career sites. Um, so that was, all I had. Did anyone have any questions?